Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's well, good? So I know my uh, frequency of uploads have been a little bit uh, less than typical. Just to give you guys kind of an update, uh, things are quite busy with work. A lot of this is due to the COVID-19 impact. Basically, I have all this additional task of you know, financial modeling, all that. Um, I'm not going to get into specifics, but basically, uh, yeah, it's it's quite uh, busy right now, and uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't have as much time to upload. So, you know, I'm I'm hoping things will stabilize a little bit, and I can get more toward the uh, uh, normal routine of things. But I uh, just wanted you guys to uh, get an update, just in case you weren't aware or or wondering. But uh, the purpose of this video is to provide translations on all the uh, new stuff that's come out, whether that's the uh, new upcoming LR information or uh, the uh, version update with all the uh, mechanics and, and whatnot that was included. So uh, we'll start off with the uh, information on the new LRs. It is going to be LR Vegeta and Nappa. It looks like the uh, it's actually a brand new category, um, Aku Gyakuhido, which is probably a direct translation to like I don't know, villainous, villainy, you know, that's probably the, the closest uh, translation I can come up with for that. Um, I try to take a look at this picture, right, and it's really bad in quality, so it was hard to make out the words. Luckily, somebody actually had a high-def version of this, um, so let's keep scrolling down. There we go. So this, I can actually read. So, um, again, this is... Um, the first time I'm actually going through this, so I'm going to be pretty much translating on the spot. But again, this is going to be an extreme agility unit. Uh, again, the category is uh, villainous. I guess we'll just go ahead and call it for the time being. Uh, category uh, key plus four HP attack and defense increase of 130%. And then extreme uh, agility types get key plus four HP attack and defense increase of 100%. All right, uh, these are going to be exchange units, by the way. Um, they did say that in the, you know, front headline, I guess, so to speak. And we'll cover all that here in a second. Um, in terms of, let's run through like some of the passive skills and information and stuff like that. So passive skill right here is uh, attack and defense increase of 78%. And then if HP is 78% or above, uh, key plus five and taking a cool giggle kayaki suru sonotan. So if evading uh, enemies attack uh, during that turn, uh, additional attack increases 78%. And when there's only one enemy or or for every enemy um, at the start of the turn, additional attack and defense increase of 7800 and based on meeting criteria exchange with Vegeta. So it looks like it does start off with uh, the Nappa unit and, and basically exchanges into Vegeta. So uh, let's take a look at the active skill. Uh, looks like uh, basically you can activate this uh, upon uh, three turns from the start of battle uh, for one time only. It looks like there's not really any other restriction outside of that, so that's pretty good. So basically after three turns from the start of battle, you can you can uh, use the active skill to exchange for Vegeta and then the active skill effect is basically for one turn uh, attack uh, decrease of 50% uh, down and uh, evade enemy attacks So it looks to be that is what the setup is for that in terms of like the links uh, Saiyan warrior race. I think Zankyo is uh, God damn it. What was it? Um, uh, was it uh I think it was a uh, brutal beatdown or something like that. It's, it's so early in the morning, I can't even think about the right one. Coward or brutal beatdown, what are those two? Um, it's it's one of those attack increasing links, basically. Uh, the next one's tough as nails. Uh, the other one's Berserker. It's um, one of those links where you share with like the, the Saiyan units, uh, certain Saiyan units. Basically, it's, it's about the... Um, uh, basically ridiculous uh, battle power, I guess, you know, power level. That was probably the best way to translate it. I can't remember exactly what the, the link was, but uh, other than that, Shattering the Limit and then Legendary Power is the other one. Uh, in terms of categories, uh, Conquest of Terror, uh, again, the villainous, villainous uh, category, villainy category, and then Pure Sands. 
Um, in terms of the super attack, it's going to be uh, for one turn attack and defense increase and causes uh, colossal damage to enemies. So it is an AOE type unit um, in terms of like <clears throat> the uh, pre-exchange uh, mechanic. And then for the 18 key, it looks like uh, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes uh, mega colossal damage and greatly reduces defense. Okay, and then again, the criteria. Um, wait, this is kind of different uh, because I'm seeing active skill over here saying it was... <clears throat> Okay, so that's the active skill, and this is basically the criteria for exchange. So I, I guess, um, yeah, it's it's. I was a little bit confused as to like how things work. Basically, in order to exchange, um, you have to have uh, HP 50% or below, and uh, after four turns from the start of battle, that's basically the exchange function. So I guess it is separate from the active skill itself. So active skill. Um, it's still basically after three turns um, where you can actually reduce attack uh, by 50% down and evade enemy attack. So that's pretty much how that setup is. <clears throat> it's a little bit confusing with how, uh, how much information is like loaded in. So I uh, just wanted to clarify on that one. Let's go ahead and talk about once Vegeta is exchanged. Uh, I do like the artwork, by the way, with that. That's a pretty iconic little sinister moment of his. Um, Let's go to some of the stat uh, changes. So like links will change certain links like prodigies and royal lineage will basically be uh, in replacement of uh, links like toughest nails and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the passive skill looks like for one time only 50% HP recovery. <clears throat> and then uh, key plus three attack and defense increase 100%. And then uh, for every enemy, additional key plus three, attack and defense increase of 18%. And then um, when attacking super type enemies, additional key plus three, attack and defense increase of 18%. And uh, if key meter is 24, um, uh, effectively, <coughs> effectively attack against all types. So. Pretty, uh, pretty extensive little passive skill there, but that's pretty much the, uh, the information there. And then for the um, uh, super tag, this one is the colossal damage uh, for the 12 key where you also do uh, raise attack and defense for one turn and also reduce enemies attack. And then for the 18 key, looks like uh, greatly raise attack and defense for one turn causes uh, mega colossal damage to enemy and then massively uh, lowers defense. So I think that's pretty much the extent of the information on the new LRs. Let's uh, switch gears and talk about this stuff right here. There's a new battle mode coming out. So I do have uh, Dokkan Battle pulled up and let's just go to the news and talk about it. All right, so um, on this one, it's basically called the uh, Bakuretsu Chain Battle. So it's pretty much, we'll just call it the Chain Battle, all right? Just for simplicity purposes. And uh, I did kind of get glimpses of this a little bit before I started recording, but it, it reminds me of Battlefield, like the very first season of Battlefield a little bit, how certain things are set up. And we'll talk about that here in a second. But um, outside of that, it's, it's basically where you have to uh, borrow a friend and you know try and go for a high score. They have a, a dedicated website for this, so we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, other than that, we do have like new uh, treasures coming out and as you can see, there's like various uh, rewards you can get. It looks like, you know, stuff related to the potential system. I'm not really familiar with the one on the top right, but uh, these treasure boxes can be uh, opened by exchange and, you know, with certain uh, items in the Baba shop is basically what I gauged out of this. <clears throat> so that's pretty much the uh, takeaway for that. Um, Again, not not a whole lot of detail, but it is uh, it is coming up pretty soon. And um, based on the schedule, it looks like uh, early early May is when everything is set to release. When it's when it's related to the uh, the treasure boxes, this one looks like it's coming out a little bit sooner. So again, let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of the information here. <clears throat> Okay, so this is basically the new chain battle mode. Um, and if you take a look at, you know, basically the footage here, and we can, I can just kind of provide commentary. So again, this is really uh, reminiscent of how the very first season of Battlefield was in a way where 
um, after a little while, you start bringing in uh, your your allies, I guess, you know, your teammates and, and stuff like that. So, like, you can see all these guys join in. <clears throat> and this is pretty much, I think, like the teams that uh, you pretty much set up um, at the beginning before the stage starts, you know, before selecting the uh, star for the enemy, you know, stuff like that. So... <coughs> So basically, yeah, this is how things are set up, and you have to like uh, choose certain units, and based on how certain units link up with each other, how the uh, connectors work, you know, so to speak, stuff like that. There's, you know, a lot of uh, technical terminology used here in terms of like how exactly this works out, but you know, they kind of break it down a little bit uh, in the bottom, which you know I'll try and cover here in a second, but. Yeah, it's essentially like, uh, you know, powering up, uh, you know, units based on like the connectors and allies you and support you bring on the team. I mean, that's pretty much what it looks to be uh, in this case. And, and again, this is, you know, basically the first time I'm looking through it. So it's, it's kind of confusing. But uh, if we scroll through, um, yeah, I mean, these are basically the information on you know, bringing in certain friends, characters, uh, borrowing their power and uh, going into the new mode. I don't know how, how many friends you can actually use. I don't know if you can actually select a lot of your friends or not, but uh, you do have to figure out which uh, characters have uh, compatibility with each other. So again, connectors are basically uh, pretty important from the gauge of it. So, you know, step one obviously is the uh, start. So the, uh, the enemy is going to appear. Uh, step two, basically, you have to select uh, friends as supporters uh, for the battle. And then uh, step three is talking about, um, you know, using your, your supporting friend and uh, figuring out the uh, good compatible connector um, and then choosing that toward the, uh, the actual battle itself. And then, yeah, and then step four is basically talking about... Um, you know the 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 damage uh, applied within the battle itself after p you know picking the connectors and all that so um, it, it does look like based on the compatibility of certain units uh, it is going to increase damage uh, potentially based on um, how things are figured out so looks like uh, the high score rankings are, are set up in a pyramid setup where you can actually do this every day um, and yeah, I don't know how many times you can go through it a day, but I'm, I'm assuming once. And, you know, it says my niche challenge, Degaru, so you can you can challenge it every day and, and uh, shoot for like, you know, the first rank and, and go for the rewards on that. So, you know, I don't know a whole lot about this to be able to give you like a full breakdown of it, but this is pretty much the extent of uh, what I know about it so far uh, upon like the first look, so to speak. So. You know, with that being said, that's pretty much uh, all the information I have with the latest updates and, and information related to uh, all of the, you know, version updates and new characters and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys did find this helpful, enjoy the video. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later.